going on guys? Jerry here. Just got my hands on the new DeWalt DXH12B portable propane heater. Um, from what I've heard, this thing is a pretty solid little unit. Apparently, uh, it may actually be made by Mr. Heater. It looks basically identical to the Buddy Heater. Uh, I bought this thing for a couple reasons. I want to do some ice fishing. Uh, I'd be really impressed if it could heat my garage here. It's got a single car garage. Door is insulated, but the roof is not up into the attic. So if it can bring the temperature up in here, I'll be pretty impressed. Um, and I also want to keep an eye on CO levels. I've got my temperature here, nine degrees Celsius, 46 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, I wanna watch the CO. There's a lot of YouTube videos with the CO detectors. Uh, I'm gonna take it one step further, use my Baccarat combustion analyzer, and we will see what kind of CO output this thing has, if it's safe for a garage, if it's safe for an ice fishing tent. Um, <clears throat> go from there. So I'm gonna get this thing fired up. Uh, I'm not gonna waste a lot of time on the unboxing. As you can see, I've got it open here. There's lots of other unboxing videos on YouTube you can check out, but I'm gonna get straight into it. Okay, so the pilot's lit. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this thing to high, as recommended, to let it heat right up. Um, once the ceramic tile is glowing orange, you can turn it back to low, but they recommend you turn it to high just to get it started. So, I'm gonna fire it up and uh, see how it works. I can actually feel a good amount of heat already coming off this thing. I'm sure you know this one does come with a uh, built-in LED light. I think it was 400 lumens, um, as well as the circulation fan back here. So this thing will just be great for a little ice fishing tent and hopefully my garage, we'll see. Okay, so it's fired up. The tile is fully orange. A uh, nice amount of heat coming out of this thing. I'm just going to run some tests here in a second with my analyzer. Uh, I'm going to take it outside to calibrate it, zero it right out, uh, and then we'll come back in and check out the CO and O2, um, see if this thing burns as clean as people say it does online. Okay, so my back rack is calibrated. I'm just going to put the probe right in front of the heater, see if we get anything right off the start here. I do have the circulation fan going. Uh, I might do this test two different ways. One with the fan on and one with the fan off and we'll just see if that makes any difference in CO levels and in the temperature. So we do have a bit of CO here. Obviously one part is uh, pretty harmless but we'll keep an eye on this thing. See here, I moved it down to show the temperature. Air is coming out nice and toasty. Okay, well I'm gonna let this run for an hour. Uh, we'll come back and check CO levels as well as temperature. So right now I'm sitting at nine degrees Celsius, 46 degrees Fahrenheit. This is showing zero CO. We'll come back and check. One hour. Okay, so we're back in the garage. Uh, heater's still running away. I have been keeping a bit of an eye on it, but it seems to be working good. Temperature has climbed two degrees Celsius, uh, a couple degrees Fahrenheit. Like I said, this is a pretty, pretty good space for that little heater. Um, I just have the analyzers calibrating outside right now. So I'm going to bring them in and we'll check the CO. Uh, so I did grab my surveyor just to have two points of reference so we know this is accurate. Let's see what we get here. Just gonna hold it about five feet in the air. Let's see what we get.
So the CO levels are still very low. I'm gonna let that run for a minute. Uh, and I'm gonna put this one up near the ceiling because CO is lighter than air. So I'm gonna put it right at my ceiling. Let's see, we've got two parts per million there. part on the back rack. So the surveyor is reading two parts per million at the ceiling. The kid, kitty, however you say it, CO detector is still reading zero. Back rack showing one down here at the floor. Sorry, not the floor, but average height. Uh, so all in all, this thing does seem pretty safe. Obviously, you do need to use common sense. Uh, I would never recommend you know sleeping in a tent with one on. Uh, I do plan to do another video with this thing in a tent. Maybe when it gets a bit colder out, we'll see uh, how well it heats the tent and what kind of CO levels we have. So leave a comment if you'd like to see that video uh, or any other suggestions you might have. And we'll see what I can do. Just wanna give this a few minutes here just in case we find some CO. Yeah, all in all, I'm pretty safe. Pretty impressed with this little thing. There is a bit of a smell in the garage, but I think it may just be the first burn, paint and stuff like that. I mean, even right in the face of this thing, we're only getting two parts per million, so I'm pretty impressed with that. Check the output temperature again. Oh yeah, she's hot now. Oh, just hit three. Check the surveyor one more time. Still showing two parts. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, if you want to see the video done inside of a tent, let me know. 11.5 degrees, 53.3. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching.